This is on which melts. I'm a to a year Next part. Uh, what is the uh, what is this? are you planting? We are planting in the Africana. I got the This is a clear demonstration of how uh, the two, as provided in the Constitution, the two levels of government, the national and county, are working very closely for the benefit of our population. In fact, from my leadership when I started, we have always to work very closely with the uh, county, uh, gov county national officials here, led by the county commissioners. We had to work very closely. The water project, uh, which was finished uh, around 2014, uh, was actually another demonstration that when the two levels of government work, the people benefit. And this is actually what we are witnessing today. And we have worked on, on a number of projects together. Uh, Madam Waziri, Narok County, Narok Town is the capital of Narok County. And this is also the gateway to the Masai Mara Game Reserve. It is also stand on a highway to South Rift, to part of Nyanza, and actually to Tanzania on that other end. So this is a town which, even under our CIDP, is growing. And population, uh, and we have provided, as a county government, we have pro provided that enabling environment for investors to come and invest so that we can do value addition of our crops. Uh, we produce, we are the largest waziri producers of uh, barley in Kenya. 75% of Kenya's barley come from here. To produce 60% of wheat come from this county. We have a lot of livestock uh, uh, and, and so many other crops. And we need to do value addition. And when I'm looking for investors, normally the first thing they ask is, is there sewage in town? Is there water? Is there electricity? And therefore, today, as a county, we have met a great milestone because 
the county continues to be attractive for investors. Uh, you have also, you know, we have this year, we thank the president, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. This year is just in Suswa there. There's a, a, a dry port there. You know, we have electricity now. Even in Narok Town, we have also put street lights. So in, in terms of ensuring that uh, we meet the requirements of an investor, uh, I think today this switch uh, uh, completes some of the most critical uh, factors which the investors are looking at. So we could not have done as a county government on our own. We could not have done. We want to thank the Excellency the President. We thank your ministry. We thank uh, the Central Rift. But I mean, thought we have worked very, very closely on this journey. And as the MCA said, you know, this is uh, one project which has taken more than more than 50 years. Uh, as previous uh, regimes have really tr have tried, but they have not been successful. But with the funding from the national government and working closely with us as the county government, where we are able to procure uh, this land with the help of the community, which I also want to thank them uh, for, for that relationship which we have. Today we can see the fruits of uh, great working uh, between the national and county government. So we want to say on behalf of the people of Narok, on behalf of the county government of Narok, Madam Waziri, thank you so much for this great project. Uh, please uh, pass our regards to His Excellency the President. We do appreciate, we could not have done our, on our own, to Nasema Santisana. And the many other great work. Today we are going also after this to Kilgoris with another great funding coming from the national government uh, to ensure also the people of Kilgoris and Lorgorian are able to get to work. And many other projects, but now the road today from Narok to Sekenani is fully tarmac, 84 kilometers. And then we are also connected from uh, Narok to Naku. It was not there before. There's now a clear tamarok and many, many other projects which are ongoing uh, by the national government. So for me, I just want to say again, thank you so much, Waziri. Karibu sana. And uh, we look forward for more projects from, from your ministry. Uh, we still need um, uh, uh, other uh, projects. For example, even in Kilgoris, as we go, you'll go and see the town is also growing. They need a sewage. Uh, the same thing to Lorgorian, the same thing to all the sub-counties, and, and also water. Particularly, as you know, this is a pastoral county. We know in the lower part uh, of Transmara there is a lot of rain and some other part here. But Mosiro and that those side of Suswa, there is a big challenge of water. And this is uh, another conversation we are going to have together so that we could see if we could, you could help us secure one big dam which is going to serve the residents of Ni kweli nimefika hapa leo kukagua huu mradi mradi ambao ni wa maana sana wa sewage ambayo itaserve ama itatumikia watu wa Narok Town niseme nimeridhika kuona ya kwamba kazi ya huu mradi ume imefika mwisho imekamilika na kwa hivyo ni mradi ningetaka mwenyewe niangalie kwa macho yangu gavana vile tulikuwa tu, tu, tukizungumza ndio nikirudi pale nami ni mujulishe mheshimiwa rais uhuru kenyata ndio wakati anaja kuzungumza na watu pia iwe hii ni moja hapo ya ile miradi, miradi yataweza pia uh, kuweka kifunguo na kupatia wakaji na wananchi wa naro kwa hivyo nimeridhika mradi umefika uh, mwisho ukiwa umefaulu na ukiwa umefanyika ama umetendeka kwa muda ambao tulikuwa tumeweka miezi kumi na nane ni mradi ambao tumeweka shilingi bilioni moja nukta sita. Uh, na kwa hivyo tuseme vile wewe gavana uliona ardhi ukaweka pesa kupitia assembly yako na muka pata huu uwanja na pia mimi ni kushukuru kwa vile tukishikana county government na national government kazi inaenda kwa haraka vile tumeona kwa huu mradi Tuseme vile vile leo tuko hapa tuko na mradi mwingine Kilgoris uh, ambao pe, tunaweka nukta sita ya bilioni shilingi tunaelekea hapo nawe governor ndio tuanzilisha huo mradi 
ambao tatumikia wakaaji wa Kilgoris kutoka pale pia uh, tutaandamana moja kwa moja tuende Logarian uh, vile vile kuna dam tunaanzilisha hapo ya nukta ine bilioni uh, kuonyesha ya kwamba Mheshimiwa Rais ameweka hii kaunti maanani kwa vile pia inasaidia uh, uchumi kwenda mbele kupitia mapato ya uh, tourism na vile vile kilimo vile umesema Panapo majaliwa governor tutarudi hapa tuangalie mambo ya irrigation. Leo singeweza kubeba yote ya irrigation, water and sewage. Tutarudi pande ya Mosro vile umesema na tuangalie nini ingine itawezekana pale ndio tunapoendelea kupanga uh, mambo ya medium term plan the coming three years uh, tuone ni yapi tutashikana pamoja tukiwa na hii kaunti yako kaunti ambayo pia ni muhimu sana kwa Uh, vile ni kaunti kubwa iko na wakaaji pia wengi and it covers a very big geographic area so we will work together ninapomsikiza mheshimiwa rais akizungumza mambo ya pesa ya ugatuzi kuwa kiwango iko juu kuliko pahali tuko anamaanisha ya kwamba pesa ikija uh, kwa devolved units itakuwa inasaidia vaku, vikubwa sana kwa vile we utaweza kushikilia hii miradi Uh, pahali tutafikisha utawenda, utaweza kufanya last mile connectivity na kuserve watu uh, wakaaji wa hapa kwa hivyo ninaposikia maono ya mheshimiwa rais ya maendeleo ni yale ako nayo ndio tu toe miradi mingi ama hela nyingi kutoka pale juu uh, 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 the national government iwe uko iko, iko hapa mashinani kwa hivyo niseme nimeshukuru mimi um, tutaendelea kushikania pamoja ile gavana hakusema pia kwa COG ndio anashikilia mambo ya water sanitation and irrigation kwa hivyo in that case he is my counterpart in terms of the COG national government relations kwa hivyo kuna policies zingine tutakuwa tukiangalia pamoja ikiwepo ile nimetaja pale ni vizuri zile trucks ambazo zinabeba maji taka kutoka mijini Uh, iki ikielekeza hapa iwe pia iko na mtindo na mwendeo ambao tutaweza kumonitor ndio saa ingine isiwe it is also a rog industry so we have put uh, draft regulations that are going to help us in managing the non metered if you will sewerage managing the same so that we ensure that mambo ya mazingira uh, cleanliness hygiene sanitation becomes uh, one that is contained that is coordinated and that is cohered towards helping us with aspirations of getting to the target of uh, the sanitation that we have set for ourselves as a country a message of condolences as well as a message of condolences from my ministry to the people of the county of Nyamira following the loss of uh, their beloved governor governor Nyagarama and the entire Uh, COG fraternity I want uh, to move my very sincere condolences and while on that note therefore colleagues allow me to still remind us we are in the festive season the protocols that have been issued by the national government through the Ministry of Health are kindly belong to all of us so that we can be able to adhere matters of social distance uh, you know matters of keeping um, masks on the face matters of washing your hands matters of presenting yourself for checkup if you get into uh, what looks like symptoms of covid because as you have seen the numbers have continued to swell complications coming with uh, covid uh, continue to affect uh, both the large and small so it is really the onus is on you not on our county commissioner here to be able to adhere to these protocols because until and unless there is a known and working vaccine really citizen responsibility in handling and taking care of ourselves as far as the protocol belongs to all of us